Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of our Planet Zoo franchise series. This episode is starting right off the bat with a time lapse because we are setting up a brand new area to our zoo, which is going to be called the Catwalk. Prior to starting this build, I played for a little while off camera to save up some money and spent most of our conservation credits to purchase two of the three new habitat species that are going to be living in this area the jaguar, and the Siberian tiger. The third is going to be the Bengal tiger, but they will need to wait until we save up a few more credits. Overall, these habitats are going to be pretty simple, but the reason this area is called the catwalk is because each habitat will span across the pathway and allow the big cats to walk across glass bridges right over top of the guests. So. Besides the catwalks themselves, there isn't really going to be anything else too gimmicky in this area. I'm going to keep it fairly small, fairly simple. I am also sticking with the sort of recycled or renewable materials look with the plywood, corrugated iron, and stone temple pieces being placed um, around as the main, main building blocks. And just trying to keep a similar theme for this area as we did to our entrance area while still kind of trying to make it unique and, and look like its own separate area. So I hope you enjoy this build and I will check back in at the end for a little tour of it and introduce our big cats to their new habitats.
And just like that, our catwalk area is complete for now at least. <laughs> so since you so as you can see, since the time lapse, I finished decorating and supplying the other two habitats. Um, I used a lot of copy and paste, especially between the two end habitats, as you can see, they're meant to be sort of mirroring each other. I, I didn't want to complicate things too much. I also added a glass roof all along the pathway to help shield the guests and the information boards from the elements, from rain, from snow, whatever it might be. Figured it would be kind of a nice, just a nice little shelter area for our guests. Um, and as we walk into here, you can see that we have a little cafeteria area. We have a pip shop water for our drinks, hot dog squad for food, a washroom, an information center, hats fantastic, and just a memento. So that's two more gift shops that we don't have in the entrance area and a second information center. But yeah, I think with that, we are ready to introduce our Siberian tigers and jaguars to their new habitat. All right, so I assigned our new animals to their habitats, and I also created work zones for our Flamingo Falls and catwalk areas, and assigned some of our staff to each. I also hired a second caretaker and some more vendors for our new shops since I, I had to fire them while I was doing the building, when I had to pause to make more money and didn't want to pay their salaries, yada yada yada. <laughs> but um, let's just speed things up and wait for our cats to arrive. All right, and there we have our two jaguars. So our male is 3.4 years old, has pretty decent genetics for what we could afford at least. Um, not perfect, but certainly not bad. And our female jaguar has very similar stats. I think their traversable area should be fine, but let's double check. Uh, nope, never mind. Oh, I wonder how they can escape. Um, maybe I'll watch them for a little while and see if I can kind of watch them escape. Um, in the meantime, let's check on our Siberian tigers. Oh, of course they can escape as well. Okay, um, let me check. Do do. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, I I forgot to increase the barrier length when I made the the habitat or not the habitat the shelter a little bit bigger over here. Um, so let's check again. No. Okay. Okay. So our Siberian tigers are fine. But yeah, it looks like our jaguar still can get out. It probably has something to do with the fact that they can kind of climb and stuff a little bit better, I'm assuming. So yeah, I will figure that out. And of course we have another peafowl disease outbreak to deal with. So perhaps I will skip ahead here while I deal with that and see if I can, oh, oh wait, look. Oh wow, look at him jump. Oh, I had no idea they could jump like that. Ah, oh, okay, that's why they're getting out. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, well, maybe I should remake this area to allow them to walk across that, the whole glass roof or something. Um, yeah, let me, let me take a look. All right, and this is what I've come up with for these guys. So it is a little bit darker walking underneath now. I don't think that's a big deal. There's still plenty of sunlight coming from the habitats and some breaks in this, in the roof as well. Um, but it gives much more area for them to wander around above the guests, which I think is going to be super cool. Maybe once we get some more enrichment items unlocked, we can add some more up here to give them reason to spend time in this area. But yeah, with that, I think this episode has been plenty long enough. So as always, let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comments, and I will talk to you in the next episode.